guys this is Madeline um, welcome back to my channel um, I am very excited to um, show you guys this journal that I have just recently completed um, it has got a spine that has this vintage tapestry fabric on it and um, it's sort of a newer design for me so I'm very excited about it so we'll get into it um, this is the envelope of goodies that I always send with all of my journals. I usually try to tailor it to sort of coordinate with the journal. So there's that. I'll put that to the side. And um, let me slip the ribbon off. And we will get right into it. Um, so I purchased this fabric on the spine from um, Selena at Amore Fabriques. And um, I also purchased this trim from her. And this is um, pieces of the vintage tapestry that I sewed and put a little button for a button cluster. And um, so that's basically how the book is constructed. I also have some ribbon on the edge here. And I put the little corners on it, which I particularly love on Reader's Digest condensed books. I just think it looks amazing. And yes, I don't think I mentioned that this is in fact a Reader's Digest condensed book. So um, let's go ahead and start the flip through. Okay, on the first page, I have a full page lace pocket with of course some goodies tucked in. Um, I've been getting all, a lot of my lace from uh, Ramona at uh, Junk Journal Creation. She's also on Etsy. And she has amazing lace in her shop. And then this actually opens up for a little hidden journaling spot. And I have a little uh, journaling card clipped in there. And this is also coffee dyed paper that I coffee dyed. You turn the page. I've got a little pocket here. And I have on clipped on a little um, circular notebook with a little dangle on a paper clip. Um, over here, I have a vintage time card, and I put some this really pretty ribbon on it to create a pocket where I have a vintage playing card, and then another little piece of ephemera. This is a Tanya Samuels printable, and I just took this die cut flower and um, attached it on the top for decor, and I have a little postcard with some hidden journaling tucked in the pocket. Um, here I have, this is it actually, this is a cool page. I found this book and it is an undated book from the early 1980s and it was about entertaining in the days of the year. And so this is a page from that and I just thought the colors went so well. Here's some more of that vintage tapestry um, with a little dangle up here. Again, I have some lace from Ramona, Junk Journal Creation. Um sheet of this is vintage looking paper it's not actually vintage and I did a little cluster here I did some trim um, this is a page from a reader's digest book about birds and this is a little um, whale tail tab and this is um, from the Edith Holden and I took the spine since I did a new spine on this book and I created a fun bookmark with it um, I just thought this I love doing this if I can if I can save the spine because I just think it keeps the whole you know book together I just really like doing that and it's a fun bookmark um here I have a little tuck spot with a little snippet I created here and I've got a little guest check tucked in there um, these are um, flowers that I made with some Reader's Digest book pages and I just put that on there as a little like clip um, this is actually a vintage card that I purchased a bunch of, and I just thought, you know, as you, I'm sure you can tell already, um, this whole journal kind of has a very muted, um, vintage-y vibe to it, so I'm sure I will be saying that a million times, um, green stamps here, but I was just really inspired by the um, Reader's Digest books and the um, fabric I have on the spine to... Um, create something that was more of these kind of, I don't, more fallish tones, but I mean, of course it doesn't have to be. There's an altered playing card, you know, used in the fall necessarily. And here I've got an envelope with some tassels clipped on here, and I will save that to open for the recipient. Um, here's a wallpaper. 
Um, got a pocket here with some other little goodies tucked in. Um, this is a print, I believe this is also a Tanya Samuel, Samuels printable. And I have a little button dangle here. Um, this is just such um, a bridge score sheet with, um, this is actually the trim off of some of these um, vintage um, tapestry fabrics. And I just thought, I think I was inspired by Selena and more fabrics to, you know, use that on the edges of uh, pages. So I thought that was really cute. Um, um, as I was saying, this is just such a fun color palette to work with. Um, I know we're still in the blazing heat of summer, but, um, you know, just kind of a change of pace from what I have been creating lately. And it was sort of fun to go, this is um, embossed and inked up, to go into my stash and really just pull out some pretty things. I've got this clipped on here and I bought these really pretty flirtily charms. And so I just hooked that to um, a Tim Holtz little clip here, a little tab at the top. Here I have um, a vintage uh, flash card and a little snippet that I created. Um, and that's actually on a vintage math sheet. Um, here's another pocket with, um, this has got a little, made these little clusters and um, clip that on there for some journaling. I also have a little pocket down here. Um, this is done with uh, modeling paste here, a little pocket. Um, rice paper, faux rice paper, I should say, and that's, um, a na I use that, that's a napkin, I believe it came from Ikea, um, but again, I just loved how, you know, the colors kind of, and laces all came together and coordinated. Um, Tim Holtz tape here, some Tim Holtz ephemera and a little um, clear adhesive pocket, more Tim Holtz. Um, this is a vintage um, bus ticket from England. I have that sewn on there with a little dangle there. And in the back page, just a vintage book page, another die cut, and um, that is the end of the book. And I believe each signature has 36 pages in it. So um, it's got a decent number of pages in the book. And let me give you a measurement. This looks like it's about I don't know, seven and three fourths ish by maybe five and a quarter. And um, this is to me a really great size book. I mean, it just feels good in the hand. It's not too big and overwhelming. And don't get me wrong, I love my big, big journals too. But, you know, sometimes I just like something that's, you know, a little bit smaller and more substantial. Doesn't that look yummy on the side? I just love all that dangle. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. I will have her listed in my shop and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.